I just like 10 more feet. A little slower. I got. I, uh, can I get a rhythm? Can, can we? That yeah, a little too slow. No, no, no. That's too. Can a little more? That's a little too serial killer. Yeah, it really is. It is. Hang on. Okay, we'll, we'll get it. Don't worry. That is. I feel funky. That's a that's a, a a bar I'll never go to. The Funky Clown. <laughs> that's just I just know where the line is, and that is that is the start of the line. Um, hello, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Russ. I'm a clown. The pan Hi, those are the people who know me and wanted to be in on the joke. Um, I was I was asked something that, and we're going to get to this wonderful thing in a minute. But I, I was asked something over the weekend, uh, if I would chime in on something. Uh, and everybody has been talking about uh, depression and tough times. Like, I don't know about you guys, but for the last, the last couple of months, it's been, it's been hard for a lot of people. It's been hard for me, you know, personally, professionally. We've been working really hard. Things, things are hard. And I've heard from a lot of performers who take this stage that, uh, that, uh, that things can sometimes be hard. And I was asked if I'd chime in on that subject, and I and I, I went digging, and I realized, you know, I come up here, and this this, you know, that's the job description, guys. There it is. There, that's pretty much what I. That's yeah. And how? Do you really need a demo? <laughs> Let me destroy the magic for you. Watch the hands. It's, 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 it's years of education in the fine arts. If you do that, you'll end up here, seriously, get a real degree. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I, I have to do something like this, which is sort of like, you know, being Doctor Who on mescaline. Let me see that. So there's really, there's really no way to, there's no really w good way to, to chime in on that. And I, and I found something I, I said sort of offhandedly, and the more I think about it, the more I think it applies to every rough situation. I, 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 I said, rally. And I started there, rally sounds, you know, like keep fighting, rally. Rally and keep swinging is what I came to. Just, if it sucks, rally. Just get up and keep swinging. And, and you know, maybe you'll forget why you're swinging. Maybe you'll forget what the hell the whole point of the show was, like I just did. Oh, right. Um, but somewhere in there, you're going to end up coming to the other side of that. And I, I can't promise it'll be better, but it will be different. And you should stick around to find out what happens, and you should fight to see what happens. So my piece of advice to everybody in the world is, is rally and keep swinging, and we'll go from there. Good? Yeah. About a month ago, um, I did something I never did before. Uh, I got in front of all you guys, and I asked for help when it came time to rally. I chose a mission that I believed in, and I, I said, can we rally? And in less than a month, we fully funded our first Narrative Circus show. <laughs> this, is, this is the show, some of you know this, some of you don't. Almost Five will be uh, taking place in January of 2015 at the Bathhouse Cultural Center, and it is the first time the Circus Freaks will actually tell a story using our shenanigans. So I'm very excited about it. You guys are gonna be hearing more about it. Last night, we found ourselves 97% of the way funded. And I thought, well, I'll come up here and go, 97%, we're almost there, keep fighting. And it just didn't sound like the victory. A bunch of people who I just told, rally, keep swinging, it's going to rock, needed to hear that. 97, almost. Not really what you need, is it? No. What you need is, you need 101. You know, done and, and good. So I threw out a challenge. I threw myself on the grenade. Yay! I said if you fund it in, ten, in an hour, I gave an hour because it takes time to do these things, but I said if you can fund it by midnight, um, I'll take a pie to the face on this stage. <laughs> now, I, we found out an hour later that we were 101% funded, which proves that some of my friends are dicks. 
<laughs> but it also, it, yeah, well, it proves that most of my friends are dicks. But it also proved that in seven minutes, our friends rallied behind something they believed in, yes, for the sake of fun, but more importantly, for the sake of a really cool idea. I wanted to thank everybody who's on board with this project, who's excited about this project, and most of all, if you haven't yet contributed, helped, or become a part of it, we put out a skeleton budget that said, we think this will work. If you want to help us, we, we, we will still stand here. We have 14 more days on our, on our campaign. We're going to come up with some stretch goals to make it more exciting. Uh, you know, after a pie in the face, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but there's going to be more. So most of all, this is what happens when we rally together. And I wanted to say thank you for that. And with that promise made and everything out of the way, good night, because, uh, yeah. Oh, you thought I was going to make good on that? Oh, I'm sorry, that was, that was terrible of me. No, that's not what this. We shouldn't be throwing pies. That's ungentlemanly. Let's have a show instead, right? Oh, and then a show. Well, but, well, but, uh, a show and a pie? You want a show and dessert then? Yeah. It's a little unorthodox, but, you know, because I'm sort of a dessert first kind of guy. But, uh, what the heck? How about we have a show and then we have dessert? What do you think? Well, all right then, welcome to the open stage. Let's get this thing rolling.